Philippe Lesseur, uh, On the Rocks, is your third film with Sofia Coppola as her cinematographer, and they've all been so different. What has this collaboration been like? Uh, I think every film is different. You know, whatever the, the director so you are working with, so it's a, you know, story-wise, story the story was different, the mood was different, you know, the, the period, uh, it was a period for the big girl, and now it was a contemporary, so always a challenge and texture become uh, uh, something new on the, and I think on the, every script. And it's always fascinating to listen to uh, other cinematographers you interview to see, we always want to try something different or something new and to try to express with a different story, a uh, different texture. So it's good to hear that from other cinematographers. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what were your uh, discussions with Sophia like in the beginning? Because this is actually her first film in New York, right? Yes, I think that uh, she wants to uh, isolate this woman inside New York. So the, it's almost uh, two stories is New York and the uh, mm -hmm. memory she has in New York and with her father, Sophia's father, and uh, mm -hmm. and the character Laura. So he's, he's uh, going back and forth in her, back and forth in her with a with a way how we want to shoot it and something very intimate you, you want to shoot you know the, this character and new york you need to probably uh, to tr try to do something different to go to lose a little bit the romantic from uh, woody allen that he shot so perfectly especially in, uh, in manhattan so uh, so the way you make decision is also uh, what type of location, where you want to shoot in New York, and uh, uh, do you want to shoot more glass, do you want to shoot more downtown, do you want to shoot more the East Village, you know, all these questions, it's, uh, it's, become, it's become the texture of the movie at the end. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, look to any, like, films or shows set in New York for any inspiration? Uh, yes, of course, of course, of course. You have to, uh, you have to look back at Scorsese's movie, you have to look at uh, Manhattan again, and, and and because the subject is so different, you are, and me as a foreigner, you know, even I've been living in New York for the last 10 years, you, know, you have always something you want to tell about, uh, about how you want to shoot New York. And I think it's a, it's a beautiful city and also at the same time, very hard city to shoot. Not only for the logistic about it, but uh, you're thinking about, you know, when you put the camera down, it's very difficult to see the, the, the height of the building, the, the, you know, the, the, the landscape of it. So, uh, so we try to figure out to have the sense of uh, what could be the film with its, uh, all these character inside. So we did a mood board with uh, with Sofia to uh, you know I went to one direction, she went to a, a, di a different direction. So we try to combine ideas together. So uh, me because I'm a, as a French, I'm looking for like uh, the French new wave. Uh, where you see Cléo de Saint Cassette with uh, with this girl, you know, working in Paris and uh, and lost, and you can see the Italian cinema with Antonioni, and you can see uh, uh, Elevator for Gallo Louis Mal for Jeanne Moreau working uh, on the street at night. So I, I took as a reference, you know, wondering how you could, you know, give this feeling in the same time of um, of liberty, shooting in the city, and it's very hard in New York, I would say. And it's probably harder than now than you know probably twenty years ago or forty years ago, you know when Man you know when Woody Allen shot Manhattan, mm -hmm. and uh, that was something interesting and challenging to do, especially to shoot on, on film, because because that uh, always a challenge to say uh, how you know how much light I want to use when I shoot at night. Uh, do you want, I want to be light. I want to be, you know, have a sense of the liberty of shoot, you know. Uh, so, uh, so it's always a, a question, and uh, it's always something very interesting to to approach over and over. How do you guys come to decision to shoot on film? What was it always what you decided on in the beginning? Uh, I think it's, it's always uh, come to uh, to Sofia to shoot on film. We shoot the big island film, and uh, so. For me, it's always, a, it's always a pleasure. I never shot a movie in digital, I would say. Uh, I would never have the, the challenge and, uh, and the texture. I think at the end, uh, film or digital is, a, is always is a brush. And uh, uh, in a, it's a new Canva, and you try to use it the maximum uh, with a, and challenge to how to do things. So the result is always going to be different. But, uh, but you're going to go in certain direction or not. It doesn't uh, matter of, uh, 
how you know the choice the choice of the land, the choice of the location, the choice of the of the film stock uh, you push or you pull, you know the the film stock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I noticed was uh, you didn't do a lot of establishing shots. Like you just transition right into a restaurant somewhere, and it was it kind of created like a more intimate feel. Uh, can you talk I, about one? I that? think uh, Sofia is always interested to uh, to be with a character, and I think there's something very traditional about you know uh, master shot introduction. Is that something uh, I felt very strongly in the American cinema of you know, and uh, if you look at uh, Wong Kar movie, if you look you know, Asian movie, if you look you know, uh, uh, cinema from uh, East Europe, so you have a, a different sense in how you t- want to tell a story. So I'm not uh, necessarily myself attached to, uh, to do a wide master shot, big introduction. We are, we are arriving at the restaurant, we are arriving you know, at this apartment. I think it's uh, not necessary uh, 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 um, for the story. I think you can find different way to tell a story. And I, it's something interesting to approach. So a detail, you know, could be a, a, a good introduction for a new scene. But Sophia was interested to be with Laura. I think that she was the main concern, to be the, the main character. And there's always a question for her. Uh, if you put the camera here, what does that mean? Are we, I am with Laura and Bill. Or I, I am too far away from them. So she wants to be uh, uh, with them. So it's always this discussion about uh, where to put the camera. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a car chase in this movie with uh, Felix's convertible. And it's not your, your typical car chase. Uh, what was that like to shoot? It was fun. It was like six hours shoot only. <laughs> we couldn't have more time, you know, because of budget. We couldn't do that way. But so we put three cameras on a, on a we have a biscuit rig, and we, uh, it's a very technical system to you know to cut very to shoot very efficiently and to have the speed uh, uh, what we need uh, compared to the low process trailer and a very complicated system. And uh, it was great. And and after we shot some uh, scene with Bill driving the car, and uh, and and Bill is is a super good driver, and uh, we get a very very good shot with him. And at the end, he was so good that. Uh, and he, and he didn't stop at, at, at the red light. The police shut down the company. We have to shut down the, the night because he didn't stop at the right light. So, so the police didn't like it. So, okay, okay, done. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, how, how many like blocks did that cover? Three blocks. Three blocks only. Oh, wow. it's, just, it's nothing. It's like it goes longer. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing. <laughs> I promise you, it's nothing. I mean, when you arrive at the end of the block, so that's it. Wow. So. <laughs> he wanted to keep going, so <laughs> yeah, he wanted to keep going. It was fun. It was fun for me. It's good. It was good. Mm-hmm. And also, it was good because he he was enjoying to do it. It was not. He was not scared about it. So that that was a beauty. Also, that's the beauty of the scene. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, what are I mean that that happened at night. So you were speaking yeah. more about shooting on film and uh, you know the difference with the light like during the day and night. So what was what are some of the challenges of shooting uh, at night on film? But on film because over for 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 because the sensitivity of the film is less than the, that uh, that the digital camera. So uh, so the, 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 always the question is about uh, the the blacks. Uh, and the, the darkness of the city, and so uh, I did a lot of tests to compare, and then I, and I decided it was uh, even I use a, I did some tests with the Venice, you know, you can you know you can have a lot of ISO, and uh, so I decided it was more interesting to uh, to pull the negative, to have more detail on the black and the highlight, and to challenge the underexpose of the city to keep the texture of it because I find it was not interesting to. Um, to keep it bright, it was not something my eyes I, I used to be. So, so that was the challenge because the way the question. Even you have all the experience, you know, shooting on film and has been spending you know three years with Wong Kar Wai shooting on film in China, and you were been waiting uh, two weeks, you know, uh, uh, delays. You you always mm-hmm. have the, some mystery about the film. Always, I make it right. They make it wrong, and that that that's the beauty of film, of course. You know, mm-hmm. uh, you were speaking about like how uh, it's difficult to shoot in New York. Uh, were there any places you couldn't shoot or like get a, a permit for? 
Otherwise, uh, uh, at the last moment, you struggle with permits. People they don't want to shoot on the corner, and they make noise, yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and, and 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 you know they put poster, and suddenly somebody coming with a shovel and paint in the middle of the scene because that's a, the right to do it. So is is always something happening. You know, we've been shut down twice with the police because we are making too much noise, but that that uh, that's New York. You know, you 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 know to shoot in New York, you you need to love it. I would say <laughs> you you need to be able to handle it and like not take it personally. <laughs> what is what is interesting in New York uh, that the chaos and it's very difficult to to put back this chaos inside the camera because you could see you know you know taxis stopping at you know everywhere people crossing in the middle of the street you know with a uh, with keys and delivery and bike everywhere and so so to get this sense of energy and to put back on film. Is a uh, is always challenging to to feel that the city is alive, hmm. and that right. is the beauty of New York. When you arrive in New York as a stranger, that's always you know what you are fascinating about this chaos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, Philippe, it was great speaking with you. Thanks so much for your time, and we'll see you back here in a little bit.